So I saw that we had mutual friends on Facebook and uh, I added him and I was checking out his photos and I was like, damn, this boy is cute. Um, but from his pictures, it looked like he had a boyfriend. So I was like, keep my distance. He's in a relationship. Okay, hands off. Like a year before we even talked, he added me and I was like, who are you? I don't know who you are, but I want to know who you are. Until uh, one lonely night, I uh, had to like one of his photos. Was nothing more than just creeping his pictures on Facebook, a complete stranger, and then a year later, I randomly one day received a Facebook notification. Mark Miller likes your picture. And then he, uh, he sent me like a Facebook message or something. It was like one real late night, I was um, studying, had my laptop open, and I was like, Ethan Hathcote, what's up? His Facebook picture was him like, and this girl was on his back and she was smiling and I was like, that's totally his girlfriend. Why did he just like a picture of me? I don't understand. But I was like, you know what? YOLO. So I messaged him and I said, hey, you look really familiar. I think I know you. Complete stranger. You don't look familiar. I don't know who you are, but I just want to talk to you. And then he said I looked familiar, and he was just like, hey, I wanted to hit you up. And I was like, I know we didn't know that it looked familiar, but I was like, okay, I'll, I'll just play along. That's cool. He's flirting. I like this. And then we both had like a, I think like a month of school left. And then we just decided once school's over, we can meet in person for the first time. Okay, so school just ended, and summer was starting, and I was on my way to meet him in my mom's car with a floral license plate cover. Really, just really manly, so, but whatever. His blue car, I think it was his mom's car, had like this weird flowery license plate on it. Um, and he had like these tight jean shorts, or like jorts, if you will, and um, had like this tank top on, and I was just like, looking good, looking good. He came out in this tank top and I remember the first thing I thought was oh, biceps and then that afternoon we spent our lovely first <laughs> first meeting little date um, at Best Buy um, picking up a laptop or something but um, the whole time I was just like trying to focus on the laptop because I was so nervous that even to bring up anything about us so I was just like trying to avoid us and focus on the laptop which was just like I guess it's a coping mechanism but it worked for the time being um, and that night was like, it was chill. My roommates were kind of in the room and then we were kind of sitting next to each other. And as soon as my roommates left the room, I knew, I knew something was gonna happen. Like Ethan kind of turned to me and he was just like, just looking at me like kind of seductively. And I was like, he wants me to kiss him. And it did. So summer just started and we met for the first time. and. Immediately after that, I knew that I wanted to spend my whole summer with this guy. It, we just we just clicked really, really well, and it just felt so friendly and so, like, just so right immediately that I just went way head over heels. So we lived about half an hour away from each other, like, for the summer, and I can't think of a three-day span where I didn't see him that whole summer. Every time we hung out that summer, I felt like I got lost with the kid because it was like, and what I mean by that, it was just like, I was like falling in love with him and it was just like, I had no, I had no, that, that feeling was so new to me and it was just absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm so glad that we both received amazing support from our family, our friends, and God's had us about. So at this point, summer was winding down and um, school's starting pretty soon. And we both knew that, you know, we did, went to different schools and we'd be about two, two and a half hours apart at that point. Um, nothing we were looking forward to, but something that we knew we could handle. Um, obviously, we were pretty serious into each other at that point and we're like, we're gonna do anything in our power to like always hang out. Um, so the weekends were that. They were like these little boyfriend adventures we went on and um, it just kind of broke the week up, but it, it felt, such an emotion, motivational thing to like work on school really hard so I can hang out with Ethan and we can have a blasty blast. Every time we saw each other, it was really exciting and it was quite the adventure. So we turned the long distance relationship into kind of a blessing because we could focus on our own stuff during the week and then the weekend comes around and 
every other weekend we were together, whether I went there or he went there. So it really made the year fly by because I always had something to look forward to coming up on the weekend or the next weekend. So as I was finishing my senior year of college, I was thinking to myself, what am I gonna do with my life? Where am I gonna live? Um, after speaking with Ethan, we decided to move in with each other. Um, and he had two more years of school left, so I was like, okay, I can continue with YouTube and other random freelance jobs and um, see how that works out. And this is it. This is our room. This is Mega Bed. Welcome. Like, I get to live with my best friend. And yeah, he gets a little annoying when he takes up all the bed, but we share a bed together every night, so it's all right. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I know we've discussed how we met in the past, but we kind of wanted to sum it up in uh, one little video. Yeah, and if you have any other questions for us or would like to know anything else, just ask below. And if you're new to the channel and you want to follow our story, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels for weekly videos. Love you. See ya. Bye. Bye.